Hey nerdlings, Nick Lotus 84 back with another episode of Asagao Academy with Ultimate Carl. Yo. And when we last left off, there were all these super sweet neon glittery posters of super sweet neon glittery Jared all over the hallway. And he decided that he wanted to talk to us about the fashion show he's holding. We're about to find out where Hana comes into this and why he wanted to talk to her. Jared, as smooth as ever, simply smiled. I think you have potential, Hana. He suddenly leaned in close to me, so close in fact that I could smell his cologne. A musky, sweet aroma of earthy scents and... ham? <laughs> musky <laughs> ham. P potential? For w what exactly? I don't want to smell like ham. Jared shifted, his mouth so close to my ear I could feel its heat. For greatness. Oh my. He reached into his shirt pocket and retrieved a small slip of paper. With quivering hands, I accepted it. All right. My card. My number's on the bottom. If you're ever interested, I could teach you a thing or two about modeling. And so we just got two dudes, two normal boots dudes numbers in 24 hours. We're macking now. We're really picking up momentum here. I stared down at the card in my hand, feeling that if I looked away, it would disappear. By the time I gathered the courage to face him again, Jared was gone. Feeling quite dizzy, I headed for class. The business card strangled to death in my white-knuckled hand. By the time I got through the milling students into the classroom, Mai was sitting at her desk, face down and completely still. She was embarrassed to death. Bad end. Bitch, I never got my soda. <laughs> I took my seat and twisted around to poke the dejected my shaped heap. She didn't budge. Hey. My. My. I heard a muffled groan of despair. Can't this. I'm such a social disaster. <laughs> no, you're not. I tried to sound comforting, but I was never good at this sort of thing. Mai finally lifted her head from her desk. What's that? She motioned to the business card that was still in my hand. I set it in front of her. Mai appraised it for a long minute with a blank face, as if I set a rare artifact in front of her that she didn't actually believe was real. Then her eyebrows pulled together. He gave you his number? Well, well, yeah, sort of. I mean, not really. He said I should call him if I want him to teach me how to model like him. It was embarrassing to even say the words, and they felt awkward in my mouth. The moment I said them out loud, I wished I could grab them back and swallow them. I expected Mai to give me a once-over before making an off-the-cuff comment about how I wasn't nearly pretty enough to be a model. Yeah, because Mai is just, just so mean like that. But she didn't. Yeah! He, like, totally wants to get with you. Oh, no. Her he tone... wants them bones. <laughs> you want to get up in them guts? Her tone was so matter-of-fact, I gaped. What? What? No, he doesn't. Why would you say that? Bingo. Okay, Hana, I've taken enough sex ed classes to know when a guy fully wants you and Jared, like, fully wants you. <laughs> God. Is he walking around with a boner? He's popping a boner. He's just. He's walking around with a sparkly boner. <laughs> Sparkly boner. <laughs> the glittery boner. Mortif <laughs> Mortified, I snatched the business card back off her desk and shoved it into my jacket pocket, turning away. My cheeks felt like they were on fire. By now, the classroom was filled with students. They chattered amongst themselves, but the white noise of their conversations wasn't loud enough to drown my out. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see John and PBG seated in their desks at the back of the classroom. I'm talking serious grabby hands at the back of his dad's Camaro here. You're gonna make babies with pro Jared, Hana. Grabby hands in the back of his dad. You, are you talking for- that's awfully specific. You're talking from experience here. Little glittering Jared babies. Oh dear god. No, I'm not! You're totally crazy. I- I don't know what you're talking about. Miss Shizuka, like some kind of angel, cleared her throat at the front of the class. 
I exhaled gratefully and sunk down in my seat. When class finally ended, Mai and I headed for the cafeteria, the incident forgotten in her hurried attempt to explain Miss Shizuka's scandalous last relationship. Seriously, he spent all this time trying to choose between her and some dead chick who only liked him because he looked like her ex-boyfriend. I know that's a reference to something. Yeah, I don't. That's got to be something. I don't know. I feel like leave, a, okay, leave a comment if you know what this is a reference to, you guys. I mean, who does that? It sounds like a, it sounds like it could be a reference to a lot of things, honestly. Yeah. We got our food and hesitated in the middle of the room, looking at the normal booth's table. Neither of us wanted to go up and demand a seat, especially after wiggling our way in the day before. What if they changed their minds? But Satch, noticing us standing like lost lambs in the middle of the room, waved us over. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. How was class? <laughs> and then Satch's voice there was, was exactly like that. Hey, girl. It was great. It was smooth. Oh, you know, normal? Eh? Eh? Satch nodded and turned away, having been in the middle of talking to Josh. That was awkward. Despite how familiarly he treated me, I still didn't know how to talk to him, or any of them. I looked across the table and locked eyes with PBG, who stared at me like I was a baby German Shepherd. I think, I, I think PBG has a German Shepherd. I think that's one of his dogs. Ew. All right. Cookies. What? He's <laughs> gonna fuck them cookies. You brought us cookies, darling. You're the best, Gerard. Those eyes. I know. And he kind of looked like, really, if you look at, if you, if you look at Paul's sprite here, and you think about the Metaton EX sprite. <laughs> Kind of amazing. Paul sprang out of his chair and practically tackled Gerard. Whoa, calm down. There's more than enough cookies to go around. Gerard started passing the cookies around the table, but paused. Hmm? You... you're back again? He looked at Mai and me. I tried to ignore the disappointment on his face. Well... Well, here... He handed us each a cookie, then headed back across the cafeteria. I stared at the small chocolate chips melting in the warm cookie. Did he not want us here? But but he was so nice yesterday. He's only disappointed because he didn't make enough cookies. Yeah, pretty much. He's like, well, okay, I'm Gerard and totally selfless, so I'm going to give you girls my last two cookies. I didn't even want to eat the cookie. Not if he was going to be as two-faced as that. And of course, Hana just assumes the worst. Yep. Yeah. Hey! Watch where you're walking next time! I'm walking here! A sheepish Gerard stood next to a short, skinny boy who was holding his tray above his head. Um, I'm sorry, I'll be more careful. Oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> you're from Normal Boots! Wait, you're the guy who plays with his itty bitty kitties, aren't you? Every time I have to, like, actively say not sit. Yeah. <laughs> the boy sneered. How the hell did you manage to get in with a group like that? Huh? Hmm? Oh, they're my friends. Playing with those stupid dolls. You're an embarrassment. They're collectibles. The kid's friends were hitting his shoulders, looking from Gerard to our table with panicked eyes. I like what I like. I think they're fun. And Gerard's soundbite there was, I like what I like. You preach it, Jared, or Gerard. <laughs> Whatever. The kid was led off by his friends. Gerard came back and sat down at the table. <laughs> that was weird. That sure was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard sat down and began happily munching on his cookie, looking for all the world like he didn't even care about what just happened. I scanned the cafeteria for the boy who heckled him and found him sitting alone at a table, head in his hands. His friends left him behind. <laughs> oh god, now I feel bad for that kid. <laughs> well, that's what he gets for, for, for being a douche about the the itty bitty kitties. I know, but it just sounds like it's one of those like he only picks on you because he has a bad situation of his own. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what was that about? 
Oh, that? I used to get it all the time. I collect itty bitty kitty figurines. You know that kids show with the five kittens who live in Kitten Town. I want. I want to. I want to visit Kitten Town and possibly move there. I would go to Kitten Town. That For sounds real? awesome. They were originally supposed to have magic powers, but uh, whatever. I collect their figurines. They're so cute. Aww. I've almost got them all. I'm only missing Princess Pumpernickel. She's the rarest. I wonder. On, I wonder if on his route you could you get him Princess Pumpernickel. That would be the coolest. But why was that guy making fun of you? Doesn't it bother you? I was afraid of bringing up bad feelings, but Gerard just shook his head. It looks kind of weird, right? <laughs> A teenage boy collecting toys meant for little girls. Uh -huh. But I like them, so I don't let it bother me. Right on, Gerard. Sorry I didn't bring enough cookies the first time, Hana. I forgot that you were joining us again, but I'm glad you're here. See? Yep. I bit my lip. See, Hana, he was being nice the whole time, and here you were jumping to conclusions. Hey, your cookie will get cold if you don't eat it. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet. He's a giant teddy bear and he bakes. <laughs> I unwrapped the cookie. Scents of chocolate and cinnamon hit me. I broke off a piece and popped it into my mouth. Gerard whispered something into Nick's ear, who started laughing so hard milk came out of his nose. Which is surprising, because he wasn't even drinking milk. <laughs> Was he really okay with people making fun of him? I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Believe it! In my old school, people made fun of me every day. It was hell. I bet on Gerard's route you discover his backstory, and I bet he was picked on as a kid and he eventually got over it. I don't know, we'll see. There was no way he could just brush it off like that. Not when I tried so hard to do the same. But if you have, like, a serious mental illness you're not having treated, Hana. That's what your problem is. <laughs> but as I finished the cookie and started on my ramen, and Gerard continued to laugh with the rest of the normal boots, I wondered whether it was as impossible as I always thought. Hana. Hana, can you pass me some pepper? I got it! Here, Jared. Uh, Thanks. Uh, what's your name again? Pleb. <laughs> it's Mai. Nice. Thanks, Mai. Oh, he said thanks with an exclamation point. Don't be sad, Mai. He's grateful. Dot, dot, dot. Hana. Well, Hana, ready to head back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Did Mai look sad? Or did I imagine it? We threw our trays on the racks and headed out of the cafeteria. As we waved to normal boots and Gerard cheerily waved back, a sudden pang hit my stomach. Was it... guilt? No, oh, poison. And now we are back in the room again, and on the next episode, that's where we'll pick up, is after class. Until next time, thanks for watching. And later. <laughs>